Welcome to You're Allowed to Hate Your Husband, a modern day love story. I am Remy Stern. I'm a relationship coach, and we are going to talk all things relationships from being single to dating to being engaged, married. Who you marry is the most important decision you will ever make. If you're looking for a wife, which is a beautiful thing to do, the best thing to do is to choose wisely. If you're thinking, what am I doing wrong? Everybody else has it right. Then you are in the right place because trust me, nobody knows what they're doing. I'm so excited. Please hop right in, listen to this episode, listen to this series, and we are so excited that you are joining us here. Welcome to You're Allowed to Hate Your Husband. We are so excited for you to listen to this episode. It's definitely one of my favorite episodes, so I hope you like it as much as I do. We talk about dating and how to find your person and how to navigate the difference between men and women in the dating world so that you can both be happy and really find the person you are going to spend the rest of your life with and recognizing how important of a decision that is and doing it well, you know, dating well. Alexa, who you are going to get to know very soon, she runs these amazing in-person dating events in New York, LA, where she curates it so that you can find somebody who really matches you. And it's just, it's a happy, fun way to meet somebody in person. We live in a dating app world. So she has really built this amazing ability to bring people together and she gives her tips and tricks and it's really fun. So please hop right in. So we are so excited to be joined by Alexa Moenian. She is a professional in the in-person dating world these days, which is hard to find. It is. Yeah. So before we like begin and we've got a lot of fun stuff to talk about, do you want to just tell us a little bit about like how you started this in-person dating and and what it is and how you had the idea for it? It's But you've been doing it for a while and you've had a lot of success, it seems like. Yes. So I have been doing it for about five years. So I started like a year or two before COVID. Um, I threw two events prior to COVID and I got the whole idea because I went to, um, an IAJF event and at the end of the night, it was, you know, there were people of all ages at the end of the night, there was a singles party happening and I really wanted to go, but having just been married, the lady at the front was like, no, you don't need to be here. It's a singles event. And I was like, okay, but I can really help singles meet, whether it's, you know, introducing people that I already know or whatever. So I got the idea there. I also always loved dating and meeting new people. So I said, maybe I can help connect people by throwing really fun events um, and adding sort of like a speed dating or curated matching element to it. I love it. I think that's great because at least what I found, let's say, for example, these these charity events. We went to one last night that I used to go to when I was single and I'd walk in and I would hope to the gods of dating that a guy would hit on me and that they would like me. And so I'd like put on my little outfit and my my whether or not I had a good night relied on the fact if a guy was interested in me and I'd go home and I'd feel crappy about it. And maybe for a woman specifically, like you're typically not the one maybe going up to somebody. And so you're like trying to draw them in. It's just, it's a weird thing. But if you're going into a singles event that already has things in place to help you be matched up with the right person, I feel like it takes away a lot of that anxiety. I agree. And everyone knows they're there sort of for the same reasons, as opposed to maybe an FIDF event or one of those charity events where the guy might I think, okay, maybe this girl's not interested or maybe she's already seeing someone and she got pulled in with one of her girlfriends. Yes. It's it's more like everything's on the table. Did you find that like when you go to those things that it was hard to pick out the (laughs) ones who were single or you kind of had a two cents? You must have gone gone to a lot of those things. (laughs) I never went to her speed dating. No, no, no. no, 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 Like those like events. events What about those events? Like when you meet like the ones that you go and like last night, realistically, everyone who went last night was hoping to meet someone like well let's talk about that last night we went to an event where there were a lot of cute girls running around 
and a lot of handsome, fun young guys running around. And it was more of just like a natural, who's going to flirt with who, who's going to look at who, who's going to bump into who. Okay, so he thinks it's natural. Who's going to be giving who the eye. However, in the speed dating, I've never been, so tell us, you sit with somebody, and there's an element that's missing, but it's also very productive. So there's a, a strength and a weakness. Right. How do you keep the cool aspect of it, but also like kind of minimize the businessy element? So, you know, I, th- I think different people react differently to something like a speed dating. You might be shy and to get that opportunity to look five or six guys or you, Yes, you might One, be shy. Right. You might be this shy guy. I'm now a shy and to, female. <laughs> okay, okay. You're it's you're, like I'm you're, the girl sh- you're sh- <laughs> from your story. Okay, you're, you're the shy female. Okay. And to be able to have five five minute conversations, you know, that's great. That's is, is amazing for you. Yes, because amazing. you that's can look them in way. the eye. Yes. You could really get to know them, and you can talk about yourself. So I think I like that a lot. Something like that is is perfect for the more introverted or um, girl that doesn't really put themselves out there, right? So that's the speed dating um, type style event that I throw. I also throw curated matching events, which is more you have 10 people in the room that we think you should talk to. You go up to them based off of, um, Mm. it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You have to find them. And you have a card that shows like, you know, numbers one, five, ten are your matches. Um, we think you should engage in conversation. So that kind of, instead of being like, here are your five people you have to speed date with. You have ten people to find in the room. You can go up to them and talk to them. You also don't have to. So there are two different style events that we do. That's great. So before which I ask one you- do you like more? Well. I think that there's advantages to both. Right. Uh, and there's imperfections, of course, to both. But I think it's a home run win all in all. I personally, I think the second one's cool because last night I lost my husband for a large part of the night. And then at the end of the night, I went to like go find him. And I have to admit that like scavenger hunt to finding him. And someone was like, oh, I just saw him over there. And like I was like looking for him was really sexy. Yeah. Like I feel like when you're right. like, there's and a then little, you find them. There's more almost, sexiness. It's almost like in the movies where like they lock eyes across the room and they're like, found you and they like go walking like there, there's something sexy about it and I think that's like what people might have a hard time with in these dating events is like okay but where is the sexiness the one point that I want to bring up because we we do have a man here and so like to get both sides in my opinion and dating has to be for the man and the woman because we're different men and women and you have to cater to both sides To be honest, I think an issue we've had in the past however many years is that it has been a little more tailored to men, the dating world. So you're like, okay, but like, what about the cool of it? Like women are put into places like clubs, let's say, or going out where a massive objective is a nice little hookup, which is fun and sexy and cool. And like the hookup culture of like going to a club and so the girl gets pretty, hoping the guy comes and, and starts a conversation the guy might or might not, might or might not have one objective. We don't know. And there isn't that amount of curation that for a woman who's trying to find potentially, if this is what they're looking for, a partner for life. And it's literally biology. Women are stuck with the decision, quote unquote, biologically for a lot longer. So they have to be more like picky about who they choose and understand like what they're signing up for with men or boom, boom, boom. They can choose whatever they want. <laughs> Okay, but, I really like, I, I really like, that. I never even thought that it was like kind of like they're really thoughtful for women. I will say that for guys, just one random thing is that we'll go on a date for to dinner with a girl that we don't know. We get to know her, this is quite often. And let's just say there's no magic. Let's just say there's no connection. And you're just like, listen, she could be cool, but like she's really just not for me. You're stuck on a two hour date at the minimum. You know, and it's just like, I can't wait to get this thing over with. Speed dating is great. Yeah. It's five minutes. Right. So even if she's not for you, you could just like be intrigued. You could be like, well, you're totally not for me in your head. But like, I have three minutes and 12 seconds left. 
And then... So let me get to know this wacko. <laughs> and let me like just have some fun. And like, it's all cool because it's a win. Even if she's not for you, you only wasted five minutes as opposed to two and a half hours <laughs> and prep time and, and drop off and all that stuff. Exactly. So it's really and you get like to go on mindset. five of those. You get to go on five of those. In plus you get night. to look in the room and potentially yeah. ask, hey, Alexa, I wasn't matched up with that blonde over there, but <laughs> she looks... Great. Good thing your wife is not blonde. Really cute, and I really like. Well, uh, that's the other thing. So we do open open bar, then speed dating, then open bar again. Smart. So you can go circle back to anyone you wish you had. If you do for the next one, I would encourage the guys and anybody that's ballsy enough to do it to take a shot before they jump into the speed dating. Take a shot. It's just like, listen, guys. This is about hopefully finding someone, but at the end of the day, we're here to have fun. Go with a, a happy heart. Go enjoy yourself. This is, should all be a win, whether you like the girl or not. Just like enjoy the night. Yeah, and I love that. And moving quick, so don't get stuck. So then, out of out of curiosity, you just give guys the great advice: take a shot and more or less have fun, which I think is one of the most important things for dating. And people often forget that it's just like go have fun with the process. It's really fun. I think this is probably something you did well back in the day, and I want to hear a little bit of, about your story in a second. But let's just. To go with this for a second, um, women at these dating events. You know, I guess women or men. Like, what? Have you been to a speed dating event? I've never been to a speed dating, but you were. I went. I went to Alexa's event, but it was it was the other one. It was the what do you call the one? Curated matching. The the curated matching. I had the best night of my life, but I was such a buzzkill to this poor party because I was like eight months pregnant, and so I was like this like fat waddling pregnant girl around the party, like, hey, who wants to be set up? And they were like, please leave. You're not sexy. Like that's not definitely but not what happened. Yeah, I, had, not what happened. I had a fun time. <laughs> I had a really good time. Okay, good. I think you had. Right. You was also, the most you had gorgeous no pregnant woman, and every guy was like, <laughs> "Shit, went, why is she?" Do you still have a lot of single friends left in your circle? I, I have a few. Yeah, you have a but few, but, but not the, close as many as five years ago. But the circle, not big. as many as five years. Yeah, the circle is big, but I would say like twenty five percent of my friends are still single. Are you gonna like hire? An intern or a partner who's younger than you who could bring in a full new circle. She has. She has. Fresh, single There fish. was like 200 people at this event. It was huge. Wow. It was beautiful. No, that one was huge. That one was almost too big. That was like was three. Oh. That was 300, It was I think. huge. And people were having a really good time. A lot of clients and people who follow Levy by Remy were there. Yeah. And they reached out to me the next day. Like, that was actually really fun. Which is something that, like, you could lose if you're thinking of going to a dating event. You're like, oh, no, you know. But, like, you make them very fun. I try. That's my goal. Just, you know, a really fun. I want to go to one of these. They're so fun. So, no, I'm so, going to be hit on probably 10, 20 times. Yeah, honestly, you just uh, get it it's it's My long fun. hair is just a, a magnet. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, Italian Italian. I'll, sh- I'll show the camera. Alexa, and do by you the like way, the long hair? For our non Jewish listeners out there, <laughs> setting. People up in the Jewish community is a huge it's mitzvah. Fun. It's a mm-hmm. great deed. Putting two people together, matching them, and then having them get married and have a family is like a big, like plus for heaven. So can I talk? Can I just say why? Just because that. because the thing that I care so much about is the fact that in dating it has become extremely over casualized, right? Because we, we don't know how to find a partner, typically. We don't know how to choose the partner. We don't know how to be with the partner for a long time. And in the end of the day, the whole world is based on each individual home because what two people end up making an entire world. This is like a big concept. But once those two people have, let's say, three to four kids, those three to four kids have more like you are changing generations to come mm-hmm. by That's who beautiful. you marry, how you marry them. So like okay, fine, you're setting people up at a dating event. Woohoo, good for you. But you're literally, and I have chills thinking about this, like, wow. God willing, changing, changing the, the world. world. You're creating changing the world. world. I love you're that. creating the world. So. That should be my tagline. So, you're creating the world. You you're welcome. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And then also, the people that are deciding to move forward in this new world with their new partner, they have to choose wisely because it's not just like, oh, I like her dance moves. Let's get it on. Exactly. Even though that they could do whatever they want. They could... But they're also like signing a hundred plus year contract yeah. to get married, have kids, have those, have grandchildren. Have, you know, like you're really it's a big decision. Yeah, this is a hundred plus year contract, so you got to choose wisely. A hundred percent. And we have something new that's thrown into the mix, which none of us probably used: our dating apps. 
So not only are we talking about these clubs, you know, where you're going, you're hooking up. It's, it's, it's fun. It's all well and good. But the end goal is to find a partner for life. Now we've got dating apps. Whole new game. And what Alex is doing, which is very cool, is pulling people off of these dating apps. So have you heard, like, a lot of information on people with the dating apps? Have you spoken to women? I think, yes. I think a lot of women in general are very frustrated. And I think the men are not using it for the same purposes as the women. True, true. So they're having fun. Why are they frustrated? But, they're, but the women are frustrated because the guys are having guys fun. Guys just want to have fun? So the guys are completely, you know, whether it's messing with their heads or they'll, they'll be texting. So a few of my friends will say, you know, they're messaging people on these apps for days and then the conversation just dies and it doesn't go anywhere. And they were and, hoping and they, that he'd mm-hmm. ask her out. Right. Because huh. because you have to match and swipe, right? So that's how you have a conversation. So you know you're interested, but then the guy never ends up asking the girl out. They just talk a little, and that's it. Because you can have endless. Well, amount. I mean, weird. you were you were on Apple. Yeah, I would qualify. I, I would text, but like. If what a girl was giving me mean? back some love, like I'd most likely be asking her out. That's not true. You had few, had few not, nights, but like, not if you're talking to twenty girls. But the truth is, this is why we have a man on the podcast. Because, okay, do we love that? Probably not as women. But do we have to accept it? Because most men are thinking that way. Not all, but most. Yes. Yeah, so how do we also? play the cards so that we're getting what we want. And that's what's very cool about Alexa. And I do want to ask you just like how you met your husband, because you guys have a really fun, loving, cool relationship. Um, and people like look up to you guys. So Thank it, you. You know, it's fun to like hear from somebody who has gotten married and done it. Like how was your dating experience Thank you. meeting him? Okay. Well, I just want to say that prior to meeting him, I I did date a lot of guys. I was always of the mindset of saying yes to any date and being open and just getting to know people and and more so getting to know myself and what I wanted. Um, so I met Nico. I, I Sorry, I knew him my whole life, by the way. I, I knew him. He's two years younger than me. Um, I always found him to be handsome. But um, I met him sort of in a more romantic way. Um, at a group dinner when I was, um, I think I was 25 and he was 23. So he was, a, he was a baby. Oh, wow. well, you guys were young. We wow. were so young, but we didn't start dating right away. Um, and I liked him. There was something about him. I, I remember I just, I it was one of those nights where I couldn't stop laughing. I was just in like a really good mood mm-hmm. and I knew he was like, he was into me. Um, I was, I was dating someone at the time though. Yeah. But <laughs> but anyway, um, I kept seeing him and he kept asking me for my number and stuff. And I gave him an email address. So I said he can email me. I was playing the game with him a little bit. Girls play games yeah. too. You guys oh, are really like throwing paint all over dudes. Like, Your game is so mean. You use women. You use women. Meanwhile, you have a boyfriend. You're flirting with another guy in a group it's, dinner. It's not false. I mean, come on, ladies. Well, like I kind of did too. I you guys are very easy to shoot other people and blame and point your finger. Oh, but no, come no. on, you're doing the same. You're playing a different game too. I definitely danced in the gray area a lot with. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so don't, don't yeah. shoot us. We're, we're all playing a game. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't until about a year or so later where I was completely single that he kind of came after me. And I don't know why. I, I Maybe I did used to play the game a little bit. Okay, um, totally. You should. And I told him that I wasn't sure that I wanted to try being friends with him for a while first. And he just had, and I, I did really like him though. He had so much confidence for a, yeah. I guess, a 24 year old guy. And he was like, no, I know I can only date you. I want to date you. I know there's something really special between us. Wow, bravo to Nico. That I know. So cute. <laughs> it was so sexy. Gotta and close the deal. Gotta, gotta be strong. Yeah. yeah. And so, and we started dating. It's really cute. And, did you know right away? Where well, was your first date? Okay, good. And have you, so, kissed, have you kissed up until the first date? Um, 
No, no, no. We hadn't okay. kissed. So where was you? Tell us about your first The date. first date, he took me to Elias Corner in Astoria. He tried to Please. hide me. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> because, Why would he try to hide Alexa, me? Be- I love it. Because, um, well, first of all, it's his favorite restaurant. And okay. second... I think in the Persian of, community, it needs to be said that if two people who are in the community are seen dating... Initially, like a million questions, the gossip goes flying. Right. And before you know it, the grandparents are asking, are you marrying him? And you're like on your third date. Right. So that's why he wanted to hide it. So it could be intimate and that private. That's it. Yes. So the truth that's of the matter, you have to just like be like aware that these things exist. Men think a certain way. Women think a certain way. Communities act a certain way. Like there's, there's things that exist. We can't like deny all of them. Do we love all of them? Maybe not. But like in the end of the day, you just did what you were gonna do. Like you. I think he was actually being really honorable, though. Like okay, I, I good. think I, if I, I don't know if he was just you know trying to hide me because he wasn't in the mood to tell people we were dating or what. But I do believe he like wanted to sort of take it slow to make sure it was right, smart. and he did. Yeah, I like smart. it. He was being yeah. respectful. Yeah, yeah. I think I think, I think he was too. He I wanted it to be your thing, not. The community's thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, you want to find out if you like this person. So, just a quick question, because I know somebody who would be curious. Did you kiss on the first date? What do you think about I first did. date kisses? I did. What do I think? We did too. Okay, but, so. but also, we had so much history prior to this. Like, there was so much flirtation. We had been to other dinners together. I went to his sister's bat mitzvah. You know, there were, like, so many things pre this first date. That like I felt like I I truly knew him for years. Yeah. I mean, so Jonathan, like, while you had a boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> Jonathan and I just met the first night, and and we definitely kissed. kissed. But, but what were your you thoughts? You kissed me. In general, I I, I went to get my scotch. You don't like it. Met me, in, I, but I'm not against. Yeah, I'm not against it. I'm okay. That's Depends so on the person. No, me. I think it is okay. Whatever happens, but I like the fact that you said that like you, you could potentially be against it. Um, but you know, you never know if it's like. Okay, like, is it romantic? Like, but I, I think it in general, You've known rule each of thumb, other for 10 it, years. it never it's hurts. Okay to right. kiss on a, on a yeah, first but date. I, yeah. I think rule of thumbs, it's always okay to like wait on anything. It's always okay to wait. Pleasure delay. Yeah, it, it. Someone said the guy won't want to buy the cow if he gets the milk first. You know, like I don't know if I believe it. You don't. You think no. that you think that women can not sleep. A- Goal, uh, I mean, goal I, or what about kissing, sleeping, whichever sleeping, one? Sleeping, I think sleeping is fine too. Okay. If you really feel it, if you know, yeah. don't want people to think that that's what I did. I'm just okay with it if for someone who feels like, feels you know, if, if they both feel it and the chemistry is there and the respect is there. We know enough people who slept together the first time and it works out in the end yeah, of the day. Worked out great. Yeah. What's meant to be yours will if be it's... yours, however way it comes in. That being said, like we've said, like putting It's a safe bet to, in... safe bet to wait though. So, yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. first never... date or second date, dance third date, yeah, yes. fourth date. Other. It's more special. Let too. it build. Let I, like, it build. It's yeah. still special. I don't at Alexa's special. amazing events, people probably aren't making out left and right. They're getting to know each other. How much more important is it to get to know somebody? So Nico did that. He brought you somewhere and he started to get to know you and he already knew you, but to see if this would work because you can know someone, you can like somebody, but is this going to work for a long-term marriage? You know, we were talking before about how it's a big decision who, mm-hmm. who you marry. So to be intentional is very good. <laughs> it's a good thing to be intentional. And that's what's cool about these in-person dating events. So the people you dated before Nico... How were those relationships leading up to it? Did you find that like dating a lot of people was good to know what you wanted, yes. what you didn't want? Yeah. So I had a couple of serious boyfriends that were all amazing. And I think I learned so much for them. And I think that each one kind of taught me something else. Like one of them uh, kind of, I guess the end was a little sour, but he, you know, it was my first real relationship and I learned a lot about respect and communication and stuff like that. Another relationship, you know, love and adventure and th- just things that I wanted. So I, I don't regret any of it. I think also um, it it just, it matured me a lot. It, it gave me a lot of like, um, it, it, taught me what kind of a person I wanted to be in 
my relationship, you know. So you think, and I, I genuinely also believe, and this is why I love the dating time in someone's life, that it's probably when you learn, maybe not the most about yourself, because I think in marriage you also learn a lot about yourself and your partner and life in general. But dating is a time that you do learn a lot about yourself and what you want. So so single years. Yes, and I think people forget yes. that they are trying to to Rush find the guy, impress the guy, mm-hmm. you know, sell themselves. Mm-hmm. But it really should be about you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so I agree. Tell right? us more about that because I think that that is the biggest piece of advice that people forget. And I got lucky enough that when I was single, I, I got to a point where I was like, ah, I understand. However, I wish if I went backwards, I would have expanded that time. of like discovering myself. How much myself. time did you have? Like, how- That's debatable. <laughs> Playing the gray, the gray card, it's debatable. The switchovers are a little bit fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy, but apparently it is for me too. Yeah, for the for the sake of just let's keep it as black and white as possible. I was single ish ish for two years. Two years when I moved to New York, I was single. Um I always had one person who was amazing. Nobody ninety nine percent of people don't marry their first boyfriend, even if he's a great guy or a great girl. Yeah. Like there's there's a growth period and you grow and you learn and, and you mature. So how That's do you, how would you if you know always giving advice to someone you care a lot about? We all have a daughter. Son's different story. You're gonna you're not giving our son any advice. <laughs> Negative. I'm not giving our son. No, our, our daughter will be raising our son. <laughs> Just kidding, God willing. Um, but when you think of somebody you care a lot about, like when they're single, what is the advice you'd have for them to do the self? exploration and strengthening and happiness and loving like what's that advice going to be for that person I would say make sure you're in you know the best kind of headspace make sure that you have confidence and love in your heart for yourself um, and that you're open open to the world positive um, to have a smile on your face, but make sure it's a genuine smile that you're actually happy. And if you're not, maybe go back. And I'm sure this is, you know, all the stuff you do in your workshop yeah. because you have to make sure that you're genuinely in a good place. Yeah. If you're not, now's not, you're not ready. Exactly. I, I believe. And and I get this comments, a lot of my Instagrams, like whatever, you get a few haters. <laughs> Thank God a lot of lovers, but a few haters that are like, oh, I'm, you know, I want to meet somebody when I'm in a bad place that I know my bad side. Or I met my husband when I was the worst place in my life. Okay, fine. You know what? All of this happens. You Sometimes can sleep with ha- someone yeah. on the first night and it works out. Right. You can well, meet someone in the happens. worst place. However, what is the worst thing that can happen if somebody is willing, ready, and able to work on themselves and to start feeling really, really happy? There's an internal side of the dating process and then there's the external and they both have to go hand in hand for incredible success in the 100 person but but the internal job of getting happy like can you imagine walking into one of your events and seeing the girl at the bar who's smiling and glowing and laughing like that girl's probably gonna have more success than the one who's like you know yeah like unhappy and wanting somebody to fill her up and feel good if her energy is positive she's going to look beautiful to everyone yeah I always say and I and and I sorry to cut you off I have a few friends that are you know constantly trying to perfect their exterior image thinking that's the reason why this guy didn't follow through or this and that and I just don't believe that's true in my heart. Totally but, right. Energy but, is but the number energy one. Is, I, I really, I really think it is. hundred You agree, right? Like if, yeah. if a woman's, first of all, when I met you, I was like on my chubbier side for sure. And you no, like no, it's, loved it's even like it. in magazines or on Sports Center. If you just like watch the highlights and you see them like walk through, walk through the locker room, and there, these NBA players are like wearing, you know, these sick outfits, and you're like, damn, they look good. They, they're on another level. They're the same guy that you see on the street. It's just like they they have that extra chi. If she's got that extra chi, like that's like an additional five points. You go in there, you're smiling, you're happy, you you look sharp, you feel sharp. Mm-hmm. If you it, it shows. If uh-huh. you're a sexy woman with like curves and you have so much confidence, the there is nothing the more beautiful. Nothing more beautiful. 
And you know, so, I, I, so the chi that Jonathan talks about, I love it because it's my new obsession. And I've seen this work so much recently. You said it in one of our episodes. Like a girl should go to the bar, go do things, pretending she already has a boyfriend. Like every girl that. should have like a fake boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Because how many times does it happen when you're single and like no guys hit on you and then you get a boyfriend and all of a sudden every guy's asking mm-hmm. for your number? You know I have my one. <laughs> yeah, you are. My story that like the one guy I always wanted to ask me out, Alex, I'll tell you who it is after. <laughs> I always yeah. wanted to ask okay. me out and everyone tried, everyone tried to set us up. And then he like never reached out, never reached out. And then at my first outing with Jonathan, mm. I went to a wedding and the guy goes up to everyone. Please set me up with her. Please set me up with right. her. So I was like, too late. Mom. <laughs> right. You're too right. late. But but the idea of having that fake boyfriend in your head, just that that chi, that confidence, right? You you already mm-hmm. feel like you have it. Your whole it's so much sexier and more attractive. And something I work with my clients a lot on is becoming that version of yourself who already has the boyfriend. Like, what is she acting like? What is she doing? How is she feeling? And looking and everything about her, if you start being her right now, it is inevitable that the boyfriend has to like slip right into her life. So imagine showing up to your events, not, you know, like wanting to be the skinniest and prettiest and and liked by every guy, but being like, I'm going to go the have fun. The fullest. Exactly. What yes. if your meter was on happiness and fullness? You're How full. How cool would that be? Yeah. You're not <laughs> empty. You're not in need of something, but. If you have a smile on your face, you are attracting many Men. I feel like that's in probably that what yeah. you know, and I, it's one of our like things that our men liked about us. Yes. I was just always kind of smiley and I really worked on it towards the end there. And that's when I met Jonathan. But you were re- real. You weren't fake. You were happy. Smiling. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about Rem and how, Ooh, you, how you were drawn to her. Um, she was just genuine, warm, cozy. We had fun easy in the sense of just like I felt great and everything we did from that first dinner onwards felt felt easy it was it was I feel like you probably have similar it was easy nice. yeah it everything we say like when it's right it's right did you feel like that you know it's always mm-hmm. like how do you know yes. you know if it's the one like when it's right it's right do you feel like that yes. was kind of the case I did yeah did you when you did you know early on like when did it hit you that like you know what Nico's I'm going with this one. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, cause I was so young. I guess I wasn't at that moment thinking about marriage yet. You, you know? were very like, young. He was very young. I was young. too. Yeah. Was we, too. He was a child. I know. So like, I don't think. <laughs> Good for him. I, I knew that there was something really, really special and this was probably going to be something special, but I also, it didn't occur to me, I guess, until we, you know what? Once we started telling our family, or I told my family from the beginning, of once course. he did, <laughs> then I felt like it was real and it, it was probably going to happen. This was but the I, one. What, yeah, I felt like he was. And then did you find the process? Like, were there any ups and downs between dating, engagement, marriage? Like, Jonathan threw me for a few loops of like, girls telling me they were sleeping with him and I was like hmm interesting I slept there every single night Plural? this week no but I probably could have but there was one but like I was like I slept we were there. still dating we were not exclusive and, girl came up and, she and you were a John horrible story. texter so not to put all my eggs in one basket I still played baseball okay but park. imagine I'm at a party and a girl comes up to me and says I'm sleeping with this guy, John Stern. I slept over Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, that's, that's Friday, he sent me Shabbat dinner to my apartment because he went to 120 to his parents, sent me Shabbat dinner. Saturday, the girl says it to me and she goes, yeah, I was there on Monday night. And I was like, not that motherfucker. I've never slept we over yeah, Monday here night. Here and there. Cool girl, but I was seeing you, but we were not dating exclusively. Anyways, so did Nico throw you for any loops? Having no? fun. Okay, no, Nico actually time. never threw me for any loops. Wow. That's, that's good. That's did good. you throw Nico for any <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Oh no, poor Nico. No, but one I have to say, I was there was a time where I was like figuring a few things out and stuff, and he was the opposite of jealous. He literally was like, take whatever time you need, like I'm here. I love you. And I know that I want to be with you. Like, I'm just going to wait for you to like fully decide. So good approach, good approach. Yeah. It was so chill and so just confident. 
And I loved that too. I thought he probably that. had a couple of Monday nights during that time frame as well. He, he may have. He's like, hey, you do your he thing because uh, I got me in a couple of days. <laughs> I'm going to go. Guys, we got a hall pass. <laughs> Before I jump on this bridge, you we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, well, now that? now that that you say that. So this is the, uh, the time where we get into rapid fire. Oh, gosh. oh shit. Oh, okay. God. All right. <laughs> if, why, Don't get that- too scared. Is that her? She can shut the the question down button. No, she's. These are all PG thirteen. No, give us get a, R. What is Give wrong us a with couple you? of Alexa Moinian. Give us a couple of dating no nos that you've encountered. Hmm. Okay. Um, dating no nos. I would say definitely don't start caressing a girl's Ooh. leg. Ah. When at the beginning of a date, when like going up their leg, I've, oh, I've like, oh, I feel like it gets really uncomfortable. Is that a Persian guy thing to do? No, no. Some like Ashton American guy like, did this guy? for me and I'm like, get the fuck off my leg. Oh. Sorry, am I allowed to curse? See, of course. Um, okay. That was a no, no. Like a date, like a that's first date. That's a no, date. no. First date, no, no's or like. Wait, but uh, that's a thing. great no, no. Here's Don't be touchy unless you're really kind of invited. But if it or- was Nico, like. She would have been hyped to have a little like touch. Yeah, like, but not for not on like not someone just I meeting just someone. met. Okay, like so I, for a guy, I find just, the like, leg to be weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in in all truth, like as you first meet someone, the physical should like creep in. It shouldn't be like, hey, it's me, and like hand up the leg or like, <laughs> hey, it's know, me, like, bing, bang, boom, <laughs> or like like physical. More and more as I see, it should be. The last last step. You know what? Dating. I'm going to yes. include you. Do you have any dating no nos? Did this would I, this guy have had a chance if you didn't like immediately jump all over your leg? I don't think so. Okay, so there you go. Okay. If it was the right guy, maybe you would. But regardless, a no no for me. I always liked to be like picked up a little and like the suave and the this. I had one guy on like the first or second date get mad at me because I've said this on the podcast on one of our episodes, but he got mad at me because um, he wanted to see something on my phone and I, I was texting another guy. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. It was like our first or second date. I was like, ah, no, I'll show you later. And because I was scared. And he lost his marbles. Oh, I was like, gosh. how am I ever supposed your phone to is your trust you? I know. But privacy? like, whatever. I was definitely a little sketch. But he was like, how am I ever going to trust you? How am I ever going to this? And I was like, wait, no. <laughs> like, we just met. But I think like future talking is very important in dating, you know, being like, what's your vision for your future? What's this? But at the same time, on both sides, men and women, If you do it too soon of like, it it can be overwhelming. Like there's a a dance to do of like, do we see the same vision for the future? But also let's have fun in the right now and like focus on like right now. So there's a dance between the two. What about splitting the bill? Oh, that's probably the quickest (laughs) no-no. I think for a woman, the annoying thing is women take out your card on the first date and pretend and men shut that shit down immediately. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's yeah. It. Okay. I had a couple like that. Ugh. You had a couple like that. Oh my god! Uh-huh. I did a couple too. where they were you offered and then they accepted. <sighs> yes. Or did they ask? Yes. And one guy, my dad really wanted me to date, and I was just like, "Dad, are you kidding me?" Yeah, he sad. was he a billionaire? Like I could either he see somebody who has no money was. or <laughs> way too much money to do it. <laughs> Normal people don't do that. They pay. They they pay the like, I don't know. If you're a billionaire, you have to. I hope she's not using me for my money. So I'm going to make her pay. For oh my god! Can I tell Travis you? Travis Kelsey did that. I know that's. I don't know if it's true, but um, <laughs> one guy I went to dinner with him at like not such a nice place, and he didn't order so much, and like just the whole thing you could tell, whatever. Oh, he underordered then, food for you. That's yeah, rude, Jonathan. I get him big fights. You need at least three side salads, four main salads, <laughs> two, pastas. two two veggie sides, two pastas, <laughs> exactly. and a fish. Because I've never seen a dinner without the fish. <laughs> Yes. Um, but and then he, he came up and he was so like, okay, funny. he paid. And then he was like, don't worry, you'll get me a drink at the bar. And I was like, no, I won't. And then <laughs> we got to the bar and I was like, okay, please, like, get away. And then he came up to me. I was like, so where's my... And he's a very handsome guy. And he was like, where's my drink? And I was like, I ran away the entire night. I think the... the Unfortunately, I think there's something to tra- traditional dating as well. Yeah. Where the man, like I said, courting the woman, like... Listen being, up, men. Pay for the woman, <laughs> and that's the end of it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the nicest place in the world, but like to court a woman and a woman to feel beautiful, like there's something very I romantic agree. about it. Hundred percent. But you girls also play little games where it's like you offer to pay, and we say no. We want to 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 
to treat you. Did you always offer? That. I don't even know if I always offer. We have this debate all the time. Uh, I, some, I some offer girls offer, late. but anyways, if you don't, you don't. It's all good. Should... No, no, if you do, it's no, nice, I... but it's irrelevant. Yeah, okay. Guy's gonna treat, generally speaking. However, I think it's classic. After for a girl ten off. treated dinners, or five, or ten, or whatever, and the girl keeps on like offering or something, a guy doesn't want to like say no for his entire life, so he'll be like, right. okay. You get ice cream, especially not like this is the fifth date or something. It's like, I got dinner, but just to include you on yeah, the team. Yeah, that's nice. Like, you can get the ice cream. It's like I a don't know. way to well, flirt. Wasn't I had a girl once get mad at me because she, who me? She, who you? <laughs> I paid for like seven dinners in a row. Like, it's not a money thing, but like, you kept bothering me with like, come on, let me pay. Come on, let me pay. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to give her a tiny win, which is a $7 ice cream. No, it's like, not what it was. You can get ice cream right. later or a ta- the taxi. Right. And she was upset about it. No, no. We'll tell the story another time. She wrote time. in That's her journal. She cried in her That journal. wasn't what it was. We went that to a group night. dinner you and every single... Jen? No, every single guy put their card in and I'm looking at Jonathan to take my card well, out. That was a different story. No, that no. was like a 47th day. No, no. And then I go, take my card out. <laughs> and I put my credit card down. <laughs> no, no, I didn't no. even see you put your credit card down. I didn't know what's going on. Oh my God. We had another one. Yeah, my credit card. I put it in. I didn't know you put it in too. Nothing. There's so many misconceptions dating. Okay, next, next question. Go, 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 this go. is my rapid fire. Okay, go fast. Microphone. How soon is too soon to drop the L word? Oh, I don't like it too soon. I'd say like four months. Months? Oh, wow. Jonathan Whoa. and I got engaged. You said <laughs> I love you first to me. <laughs> I did say I love you first. Four months. It's a long I said, time. I okay. Think so you, I really but you were young. Right. No, I always dated younger. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Go ahead. How do you keep the spark in your marriage Ooh. now that you have kids and you have a you have a different type of lifestyle? Um, date nights. How um, often? Uh like not enough. Once every two weeks, I would say. Once a week. Once Describe every two. Describe the date night. Um, him and I anywhere, just alone time, sexy. What I'll dress dinner up. and champagne, dinner. or are we talking in no, the bed sorry. with his oh, underwear sorry, on sorry. his head? Um, no, no, no. Out. out, out, sexy, not champagne, but like wine and cute. Um, and then it continues. And then it continues. I mean. I think sex is very healthy for a marriage. So, yeah, that's something that we kind of, I don't know. Do you want keep, more or do, do you I have, have more way children, too much? More children or more sex? Sex in your life. Oh, oh. Um, I could definitely do more. I should, I should probably have more sex. We're going to have Nico on next we, week. So we're going <laughs> to ask him the same question. Which one do you think? Is he going to be like, no, I'm tired. I Travel go to bed. <laughs> with or without the kids? Um... With we just went without and I miss them so much. Okay, that's so cute. When did you know that Nico was the one? Um, I definitely knew from the moment I hung out with him in my in our like adult twenties life that there was something like really really special between us and we had this chemistry. But I would say like six months into. Dating, and but we dated know. for we dated for two years. Oh wow! But you yeah. knew after six months that he was the one, most likely. Yes. He was potential. Okay. What are your? Give me some best date night ideas. Um, Top of your head. Astoria, Elias Corner, and Astoria. Should we go? Was you it actually delicious? should go. It's delicious. It's it's. Did delicious. you go out in Queens after? Or did you come back to New York? We didn't, but there's a cute ice cream. Sh- there's like a cute strip you can go Jonathan, get ice cream after. Go. You should do that. Date night. See you there. Yeah. Okay, honey. Or Anasa in Astoria, Anasa Tavern. Both That's right next fish. To us. Yeah. yeah, there's one a block away. But this one's like so much better. I believe it. So, so much better. Um, no, go to Elias. Um, the Grill. Oh, you love the At Grill. The Seagram it's building. So, yeah, we should go. So delicious. Good. Uh, isn't that lobster, a remarkable lobster Club, too? Lobster Club lobster, is here. Okay. Yeah, grill is here. Building. Okay. It's Carbone, too. Um, Carbone. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so these are like restaurants. Yes. You're a restaurateur. Um, mm-hmm. Do you have any like important upkeep? What would be your important upkeep in your current marriage? Um, to make things sane and healthy. Like you're talking about um, for myself? You or can go anywhere in- you want with this. However, I'm going to say that like I love freedom in our relationship, I respect Beautiful. it. So like, I'll make sure that Remy, who loves working out, gets her Pilates and her SLT. Honey, can I go to SLT? Sure, go, go, go. Make yourself happy, because if she's happy, we're Love happy. that. Same thing for me. She knows that once a month, I like to enter a poker tournament, to go play poker. I like Sunday football, mm-hmm. and I like yes. it from 1 p.m. till 10 p.m. 
You know, like there's certain things that just like I need in my week. Yeah. So I would say the same. Honestly, same that's that's how we operate. Like we both need our freedom. I need a girl's night once or twice a week, or I need to work out. Mm-hmm. He has his football. Oh, he has football he has, too? Yeah. I got to talk to him. Yeah, you got to talk to him. <laughs> um, and I love that for him, and he loves it for me. So I yeah. think, yeah, just being being happy that the other person's doing something that makes them happy sure. is, is great. Yes. Because I think when you get married, you go from, like, being your own person and your own person to, to literally being merged like Siamese twins. Yeah. So you want to respect the element of freedom and, and allow that. Yeah. And gift that um, protected. Okay. Ki- last question. Can I curse on this thing? Yeah. Please. Kill, F, and marry. You didn't <sighs> curse, but that's okay. Kill, fuck, marry. There you go. That's better. Brad Pitt. Leonardo DiCaprio. We did this one last night. And Ryan Gosling. Oh, it's such a good one. Hmm. Okay. I'm... I'm marrying Ryan. Obviously, he's so I'm effing. Um, yeah, this one's hard. Pitt or DiCaprio? I think Pitt would be more more sexy. Leonardo, <laughs> come on in here. <laughs> Wait, we won't say I want no. you to meet the girl that's about to kill you <laughs> and not have sex with you. This will be a first. Right. Named Leo. I actually loved Leo growing up. Me too. Yeah, They're all hot. Though. That's, that's yeah. a hard one. Last question. Um, yes. What would be your advice to your single self, to your younger self? Um, I would just say do not stress about anything because the world is going, everything will work out. Yeah. And Right? Beautiful. Amazing. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. This was Thank so, you much, so fun. much for having Lastly, me, guys. You're where an amazing could everyone duo. find you? Where did you, can they find these events? For now, you could find me on my Instagram, Alexa Hakeem, Alexa underscore Hakeem. And I will keep you posted. I'm probably going to create an Instagram just for the events amazing. as well. And do you know what that will be called? It's it's dating face to face. I still I have it. I just face haven't like okay. So Love it's face it. Face to face dating. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. We hope you liked it as much as we did. Now go send it to someone who needs to hear it because we know that dating, relationships, marriage can be tough. But we want to make it less tough. And remember, you're allowed to hate your husband. Whatever you're feeling is allowed. So go send it to a friend, to your sister, your brother, maybe your boyfriend, a husband. Whoever needs to hear this, send it to them. And while you're at it, click the follow button, click the review button. Always feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And we are so excited to see you in our next episode.